Let's take a look at, uh, at this one here. This is a blog post I wrote in 2022. Actually, I wrote it, I think, in 2020 originally, and then I updated it. What I would change about PHP generics. They're not coming. It's just, it's not doable. It is doable if we uh, step away from runtime type checks, but right now, PHP isn't ready for that. You know, a, a super set of PHP, I don't know if I uh, still really want that because it does introduce some hassle. And it was kind of a workaround for, you know, uh, not having generics built into PHP. It would be much better uh, if we just get, you know, runtime ignore generics. Uh, cascading attributes. Yeah, this is uh, uh, still not in PHP. We do this in Tempest. This is something that Tempest does. Well, we, we've implemented a, a small layer on top of reflection to, to be able to do this. Uh, scalar objects, of course, would be so nice. Why not? Um, and then, ha <laughs> here it is, the pipe operator. Yes. Oh, how great would it be if we would have the pipe operator? What is the pipe operator, you're wondering? Well, we're going to read all about that in five minutes because it is coming to PHP. Like, very likely, very likely. Yeah, let's just see what uh, uh, what we can learn from, from this RFC and uh, maybe share some thoughts on it as well. Uh, if you have any thoughts, leave them in the comments. I, I do read chat and I'll, uh, I'll try to, uh, to pitch in your, your thoughts as well. So in object-oriented code, composition generally means one object having a reference to another. In functional programming, composition generally means sticking two function, functions together end to end to make a new function. I like how Larry always starts with like a... Um, like he's telling a story with his RFCs. Right. It's not just this is what we're doing. No, he, he tries to like uh, share his train of thought, which is maybe why his RFCs get a little bit long. But I do think it might serve a purpose for people understanding why we uh, why we need this feature and why it's so valuable. Both are valid and useful techniques, especially multi paradigm pro in a multi paradigm language like PHP. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, OK, so but to be honest, there are already quite a lot of words here. I'm sorry, Larry. Uh, like it's getting a bit complicated for me already. Uh, I want to I want to jump into the code. Um, so I'm going to skip this. This RFC introduces the pipe operator in the form used by most other languages with such functionality. So we have a function get users. We have a function is admin. We want to count the number of admin users, right? And so in what you would do in normal PHP. So you would say if you want to count, you would say count of yeah something like this and now you you structure it, it a little bit better of course because you want readability do you do you like this this is something we all do right this is you recognize this but it, nested functions basically you you take the results from uh let's see from get user you pass it to array filter you pass that result to count you get like um your result and so the pipe operator makes that more of a, instead of a nested structure, right? It makes it very much more linear and it, it, it doesn't do anything new, but it's a way um, to better visualize that flow. And this, like in my opinion, having to read this, it, it works from, from the end to the start, right? You start with a count, with, which, goes to an array filter. No, no, no. You, you start with the array filter, the result of that, and you pass that to the count, but it doesn't really visualize that, right? Um, well, you actually start with get users and then array filter and then count, right? But it, it it's th these nested functions, they work from the inside out. And over here with the pipe operator, you start from from the start, which is really nice. Get users, you pass it to array filter, you pass it to count. That's basically the idea of the pipe operator, which it's, 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 really, it's really useful. Back to the RFC. This RFC introduces a new operator, the pipe operator, and it's pretty, pretty easy to, to type, although, I don't know, mm, shift and then pipe and then... It's okay. It's fine, it's fine. The, the pipe operator, or pipe, accepts a single parameter callable on the right and passes the left side value to it, evaluating to the callable's result. Okay, so it accepts a callable on the right and passes whatever is in front to that callable over here. 
pipe evaluates left to right by passing the value or expression result on the left as the first and only parameter that is important to the callable on the right. That is, the following two code fragments are logically equivalent. You basically pass a, uh, a, a closure reference to, to the pipe on the right side. So uh, when you write this, it's not invoked yet. It's only invoked when the pipe is gone through. Right, and so and this this syntax, by the way, it's it's uh, first class callables. So yeah, this syntax has been in PHP for a while. So th this is nothing new here. For a single call, this syntax isn't especially useful. It becomes useful when multiple calls are chained together. That is, the following two code fragments are effectively equivalent. Yeah, so like this, or even worse, right? The the nested syntax. Remember. Uh, and then you would, would have to start from, okay, so this could be rewritten as this, which is really nice, really good. And again, like the, another benefit here, it's not just that it's more linear, but it also reads the right way, right? It starts from the starting point instead of from the end and you having to figure out the starting point somewhere in, in um, like the body of, of that function called so the left hand side of the pipe may be any value or expression okay the right hand side may be any php callable valid php callable that takes a single parameter or an expression that evaluates to such a callable functions with more than one required parameter are not allowed and will fail if the function were, were called normally with insufficient arguments and so this is and this is a good thing i would say in previous um, in previous proposals, because this is already the third, the third version, right? In previous proposals, they had something like this. Over here, you need the, the array from the previous step, right? And so, I, if I remember correctly, the previous RFCs, they introduced this syntax, the two dollar signs, and that referenced like the previous, uh, the input from the previous step, basically. But now, and, and I think this is a good thing, uh, it does like it does like this. So uh, input, you can do it like this, and that's fine as well. I mean, it's it's a little more verbose, but it does have the advantage that we don't have to introduce yet another um, uh, thingy Syn syntax. I don't know what what the, 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 this would it be an expression, probably. So yeah, it's left associative performance. This is uh, this is what I wonder about. The current implementation works entirely at the compiler level and effectively transforms the first example above into the second at compile time. Uh, more precisely, the implementation contains three optimizations for a function style, method style, or static method style first class callable. Uh, yeah, those will be compiled compiled down to direct calls. Yeah, and no performance. Uh, that's interesting. So we use the um, the first class callable syntax, but it's compiled to uh, something more efficient, like a direct function call. It's really nice, really, really solid. That's, that's great. Callable styles, pipe supports uh, any callable syntax supported by PHP. Uh, at present, the most common form is first class callable. I really like how, how they managed to like use PHP's built-in syntax. Like for example, instead of partial function applications where where we would do something like this or uh, dollar dollar, we just use short closures, right? And we use instead of like doing this, we just reference. We use the first class callables, and and it's really nice. It's a really solid RFC, and it's 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 great seeing these features come together in well, what will be PHP eight point five. Uh, yeah, we got this one in PHP 8.1, right? And and short closures, PHP short closures, uh, 7.4, that's right. So, you know, we're building on top of very, I would say solid features. And yes, yes, there are still some things to say about about short closures and how they cannot be multi-line and stuff like that. But uh, this, this is pretty clean, it's pretty clean. So we don't need new syntax, uh, we can use things that are like uh, that we're used to that feel familiar it's really good Larry if you're watching this great job really
of particular node. All of the above examples are a single expression that makes them trivial to use in places where only single expressions is allowed. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, hmm. I don't know, this is cool, but I don't know if, if I like it. So all of this is basically one expression to PHP. So you could also, you could use it in, in a match case. You could use it in a short, and like as a return type of a short function. Ooh, that's, that's interesting. There will be use cases for this, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I like, like it's, it's, it makes it very concise, compact. I don't know if it will be clear. But uh, so it looks like this is this RFC is succeeding. 23 votes in favor, five against. Really nice. Uh, Faison here is saying, I don't like it. That's totally, it's totally fine. There's no one forcing you to use it. Uh, I do think that like I will use it. <laughs> uh, and I believe many other people will do so as well. So, um, so yeah, it's. Um, in my honest opinion, it's it's a really, really nice feature. It's a solid RFC. It builds on top of existing PHP features uh, like full, uh, first class closure, uh, callables and short closures. Really great. Um, yeah, wow. And it's, it's going to succeed, folks. I'm calling it. It's going to succeed. I'm going to use it. I hope you will too. Um, with all of that being said, we're going to wrap up the stream for today. Thanks for being here. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, next week, I'll probably stream some more, do some more work on Tempest. Oh, folks, by the way. Oh, hang on. While we're here, look at this. Uh